civil engineering will always be at the heart of society. And just thinking about it, I'm reminded of a story, um, a, a line that Joyce Grenfell had. Uh, she did these wonderful monologues, and there's a, a delightful one about her uh, giving tea to uh, an undergraduate. She was the wife of the vice-chancellor. And uh, this undergraduate was a student leader, and he was an ardent anarchist. And he was trying to persuade her the, uh, how important anarchy was. We need to get rid of all these laws and regulations. And there was a delightful line that came in, uh, in which Joyce said to the student, Ah, oh, I can see the attractiveness of anarchy, actually. But, but tell me, who's going to look after the drains? And I thought, yes, yeah. who's going to look after the infrastructure? Uh, the whole of society hinges on our infrastructure. This is what we bring to society. Uh, and we'll always have that. Uh, we will always be in impacted by the great forces of nature. No amount of optimism will have any effect on the great forces of nature. We have to understand them. We still, we've just seen a massive storm. We've seen the tsunami in Japan. Uh, we haven't tamed, and we never will tame, the great forces of nature. We have to learn more to understand them, to understand risk, how we handle it, how we make our society more resilient in, in, in coping with nature. Uh, this is, this is, the future still, we'll always be in that game. It won't change, it will evolve. We, there is so much still to learn and to understand. It's such an exciting profession.